Hi there! Previously we discussed what is machine learning monitoring and what is machine learning observability. Now let's discuss what should we monitor. And now we are going to have an overview of machine learning monitoring metrics. It's essential to understand that machine learning based series is not just machine learning model. This is why we cannot really limit ourselves by just machine learning quality metrics. We need to monitor for all the aspects related to the service and we need to monitor software system health, data quality and data integrity, machine learning model quality of course and model relevance as well as the business KPI. Let's discuss it in more details. Imagine you performed cross-validation correctly and you even made some holdout dataset testing, so you are sure that your model is safe and sound. Unfortunately, if the system is down, no one can really benefit from the service, right? This is why it's essential to start from software system health. If you are lucky enough to have some production services operated in your company, you can pretty much reuse the existing monitoring scheme. Software system health monitoring are standard. Its performance metrics like latency, error rate, memory usage, disk usage, and many more. So do not hesitate to just reuse the existing monitoring scheme for your data-related or machine learning-based services. When you implemented service health monitoring, you can move on to data quality and data integrity. As we discussed before, data quality is essential because in most cases when something is wrong with our machine learning model, that's because the input data is wrong. It's quite important to monitor for metrics like missing values, maybe a type mismatch for important features, especially if you use tabular data, maybe some range violations for important features. So the idea of data quality and integrity monitoring is to make sure that all your pipelines, which you use to load your data, pre-process your data, or maybe even to generate some feature engineering, that all those pipelines are stable. But just imagine, if your pipelines are stable, but there are some changes in the environment, right? And in this case, we might see some data drift or concept drift. This is why we need to monitor for model quality and model relevance. It's quite important to add an extra layer here and monitor not only for quality metrics like precision, recall, maybe mean absolute error or root mean squared error, but also monitor for more metrics. As we discussed before, model quality is use case specific, so do not, um, do not ignore customized metrics. It's important to analyze what are potential risks of your model, what are the most risky scenarios, and add some um, custom metrics like maybe predictive parity or maybe equalized odds, so anything which is use case specific. You can even add some fairness or monitoring for feature importance or bias, all that you believe is essential for your system. Together with um, model performance, you might monitor some proxy metrics, especially if your ground truth is delayed and you cannot really calculate the performance in time. In this case, you might want to monitor for metrics like prediction drift, input data drift, or maybe share of new categories, because the input data is data you always have at hand, and you can calculate quite a lot of different statistics or metrics on top of those data. So it can be a perfect early signal of potential problems. Do not ignore data drift, prediction drift, or maybe things like new categories in categorical features. Even if the quality of machine learning model is great, you still might face some issues. What if product metrics are down? It seems like a bit of problem, right? So this is why it's essential to also talk to your product managers or business team in order to figure out what are the KPIs of your system and implement some monitoring for business KPIs. It might be, for example, number of clicks or number, number of purchases, maybe some loan approval rates or cost savings, whatever it takes to figure out how business is going. So we are going to focus on machine learning model quality and relevance metrics together with data quality and data integrity. We are going to have some code examples and we will deep dive into the topic in the module 2. 
And our next question would be what to consider when setting up machine learning monitoring.